Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again to our 15 minutes podcast on YouTube. Remember, we started this series of teaching on faith that worketh by love. And we started three weeks ago. So today is going to be the last Friday of the series. Remember, we took our text from Genesis, uh, sorry, from Galatians 5, 1 to 6. And we tried to round up, we tried to emphasize verse 6, which is our text, which is our topic, that the faith there is not man-generated faith. The love there is not man-generated love. In fact, that's what Paul was trying to get away when Paul was talking about circumcision and uncircumcision. Paul was trying to condemn circumcision and Paul was trying to say uncircumcision is not the rating. God, in fact, God is not looking for what you generate. God is looking for what Christ has generated. And we saw that the faith is not man generated, the love is not man generated. We have proved that to us in the past eight episodes. So I just want to round up today. Having said that in, in, in Romans 12, 3, the Bible said that God has dealt to every man. In Romans 12, 3, he said, God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. For I said unto you, for I said through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. To every man among you, not on the street, among you. Now, not faith that is on the street, but faith that God has dealt to us, the measure. Now, the measure means God used only one measure, meaning that the same measure that Paul got is the same measure that Peter got, is the same measure that David Nogar got, is the same measure that your pastor got. Did you see that? And that faith was given to us in Romans 10, 16, when we accepted the gospel. God imparted that faith on our spirit man. And then we're able to decide. And now Paul now said in a, in a, in a Galatians 2.20 that that is the faith we're going to live with for the rest of our lives. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me and, and the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now look at this. He said, by the faith of the Son of God. If it is by the faith of the Son of God that Paul lived with, now meaning that Paul is saying that he had the same faith with Jesus. The same faith that Jesus used in opening the blind eyes, in raising the dead bodies, in cleansing the, the leper, Paul said he had the same faith. Now that's what Paul is saying here. That's what Paul is saying here. Paul said, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live. I live by the faith of the Son of God. So if he live by the faith of the Son of God, what is he talking about? He's live, he's live by the faith that Jesus Christ used in raising the dead, in cleansing the lepers, in healing the sick. So it's the same faith. So the same faith that Jesus has is the same faith that Paul had. It's the same faith that Paul has. Now listen to me. As if that is not enough. Peter also said, it's the same faith you and me sorry, me and him has. Now that's what Peter himself also said. In, first, in 2 Peter 1, 1. 2 Peter 1, 1 says, Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them, to them that have obtained, to them that have obtained, not going to, no, 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 we have obtained it. Like precious faith with us. Through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. You see, through. Not the one we try to generate through self motivation. Trying to motivate you to see that your bicycle can pull a trailer. No, 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 no. He said, We have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. So the word like here means the same as in appearance, character, or quality. Or quality. So if Peter is saying that I have obtained 
like precious faith with them, it means that that same faith that Peter used in, in healing the guy at the, at, the, at the gate called Beautiful, that his shadow was healing the sick in Acts of Apostle, it means that I have the same faith. I have the same faith. Why did Peter say that? Because Peter knew, because Peter knew that the faith that got him saved is the same faith that God released to him in Romans 12, 3. It's the same faith that God, it is, the, it is from the measure. So Peter didn't have a higher quality of faith than I do. No, 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 no. It's the same quality of faith that Peter has, that Paul the apostle has. In fact, it's that same quality of faith that Jesus has. Because by the faith of the Son of God, by the faith of the Son of God, by the faith of the Son of God, by the faith of the Son of God. So you see, it's like that. It's like that. So, so, so the usher in the church does not have a different faith, a quality of faith different from the faith that the senior pastor in the church has. No. It's the same quality of faith. It's the same quality of faith. It's the same faith that will do what Paul did, that Peter did, that Jesus did. It's that same quality of faith that you have. It's a gift of God, not the gift of the Holy Spirit. In seven, in the, in, the, in the Romans seven, in Romans, uh, in Romans twelve, in Romans twelve nine. No, 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 no. That's not. That's not. I'm, I'm not talking about Romans twelve three. Sorry, in uh, Romans twelve twenty nine. I'm not talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit, but a gift of faith that got us saved. Got us saved. Hallelujah. Got us saved. Ephesians says is the gift of God. He said, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Lest any man should boast. So your salvation happened because God imparted that gift of faith on your spirit man and you got saved. So don't think, don't think that you are smart. Don't think that, well, I don't know why he's still drinking. I don't know why he's still demonizing. He refused to give his life to Jesus. No. Why you stop humanizing? Why you stop drinking? Why you stop all those bad things? It's because God impacted his spirit. It's, sorry, it's, it's the gift of faith on your spirit, man, when you got saved. Now, when you, took, when you take ill, or if you have taken ill, you don't need God to impart another gift of faith on your spirit, man. No, 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 no. Philemon says, just begin to acknowledge every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. One of the good things that is in us in Christ Jesus is that when Christ died, before he died, he received the stripes. He didn't receive it for himself, he received it for me. So I acknowledge that. So when sickness wants to attach himself to me, I, re I receive sickness by acknowledging that by stripe I was ill. By stripe I was ill. By stripe I was ill. I don't try to generate for it. I don't try to get more faith. I listen to me now. Some people say, okay, well, you know, maybe if they can get to brother so-so and so-and-so service, then I'll be able to get more faith there. Then maybe his gift of healing will be able to heal me. No, 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 no. 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 See, if you understand this, that the gift of faith has been imparted on your spirit, man. Yeah, according to Romans 10:16, that was why you were able to be saved. And that Romans 12, 3 confirmed that. Hey, listen to me now. And Paul said, the life that is living now is living by that faith of the Son of Man, of, of the Son of God. Now, meaning that he has the same quality of faith with Jesus. And Peter went ahead and said, to those of you who have obtained like precious faith with us, <laughs> like precious faith, meaning that the same quality of faith, the same quality of faith, the same quality of faith with Peter, so what are we talking about? So why are you looking for more faith? No, 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 no. Why are you trying to generate more faith? No, you don't need to generate it. Just work with the one you already have. Work with the one. Have. And do you know what? The one you already have is the same quality of faith with the one that Jesus has. Listen to me. The same faith Jesus has in heaven right now is the same faith that God has imparted in your spirit, man, on this earth right now. 
how do you get the result? He said, by acknowledging every good thing. He said that the communication of your faith may become effectual. That's what he said, Philemon 6. He said that the communication of thy faith may become effectual. Effectual means produce result. By how? By the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. So that's why when we teach, that's why as I'm teaching for the past nine episodes, I've been trying to make you to understand that you have this now. Christ made it available to us. So because Christ made it available to us, we acknowledge it. So listen to me. I don't, I'm not looking for faith anymore. I acknowledge that I have the same quality of faith with Jesus. That's what Paul said. I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but, the, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live it how? By the faith of the Son of God. The implication of that is this, is that Paul is saying he had the same quality of faith with Jesus. In other words, whatever Jesus did, he can do it. Because it's the same quality of faith. And that's why Jesus said, the work that I did, you will do also. Why? Because he, he, he is going to impact that gift of faith on our spirit man. So how do we get it done? Just keep acknowledging that what Jesus did, you can do. If Jesus raised the dead, I can raise the dead. If Jesus cleansed the leper, I can, I can cleanse the leper. If Jesus Christ, uh, what's it called, gives sight to the blind, I can give it to the, to the blind. Why? Because he has, he, has, he has given me the legal right to or to act on his behalf. So I keep acknowledging that. I keep acknowledging that. And do you know what? For as long as you keep acknowledging that, your faith will become effectual. Your faith will become effectual. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the end of the series. Please subscribe if you have not done that so that more of our series after now you will get them just press just put your finger on subscription the bell will come out press the bell and then you are there so every time our podcast is ready you'll be notified so no matter how busy you are you'll be notified and then god's word that god has given to us can get across to you so please pray for our loved ones to be born again by praying that they will keep being they keep going to where god's word is being preached if the seed of the word of god is not sown into their heart god cannot impact that gift of faith on their on their spirit man and if god does not impact it on their spirit man they can't be saved people can be in church for two five seven years and they are not born again so don't think of yourself more highly than you ought to think but think soberly if you are born again you understand salvation you are flowing in it don't mock those who are still in the church and who are still behaving like babies who have not grabbed this it's because god is yet to impact that gift of faith on their spirit mind the day god impact it they will truly be born again and then you discover they are, they are different and when you need anything in your life you don't need to go and look for more faith the same faith that God you said the Bible said that we have access in the book of Romans 5 too we have access by faith into this grace wherein we start and by by the grace by grace are you saved through faith is the gift of God the faith is the gift of God so so when you need anything in your life finances healing whatsoever you know what to do the communication of thy faith will become effectual by you acknowledging every good thing that is you in Christ Jesus. Just keep acknowledging it. Just keep acknowledging what Christ has done. Just keep acknowledging it. And do you know what? Your faith will become effectual. It will produce result. Now that is the faith and the love that Paul is talking about in the book of Galatians. Chapter 5 verses 1 to 6. So I'm out of time. So I want to thank you so much for standing behind your handset in this past nine episodes for the past three weeks to keep listening to me on faith that worketh by love. God bless you. 
I will see you in our Monday podcast where we'll be starting on another series. For me, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord.